as a record exec, he talks about what he looked for in artists. Like, what was that magic? What was it that he looked for to find a superstar? And I'm gonna go over those things with you today. Smart rapper, gang. What a smart rapper, gang. Woo, amazing video. Intro. These are the keys, okay? Please watch this video, all right? I just finished reading the L.A. Reid book called Sing To Me, okay? Now, if you don't know who L.A. Reid is, let me tell you real quick, okay? He ran some of the biggest record labels in history. I'm talking about Def Jam, which you obviously know Def Jam, Epic, that's on under Sony. He ran Arista, and he, um, he was the part owner of LaFace Records, okay? He's also the person that discovers massive talent, okay? I'm talking about this is the guy. Think about this for a second. That discovered Outkast when they were 17 years old. Outkast, bro. Outkast, legendary, okay? Pink, Usher. He signed artists like Rihanna. And he's not just a record exec. He actually started as a songwriter like us, right? Like we write songs. That's what we, that's what we do, you know? He's actually written songs with Michael Jackson, you know? And for, uh, he's, written, he's written hit records as well. Like, so he started there and then grew into the exec. So, like, massive amount of respect for this freaking guy as far as he freaking came. It's crazy. Now, okay, I'm only talking about his credibility and letting you know who he is. Check this out, though, okay? I'm telling you that because in this book, as a record exec, he talks about what he looked for in artists. Like, what was that magic? What was it that he looked for to find a superstar? And I'm gonna go over those things with you today because he had that ear. He had that knowledge of knowing what to look for. So let's go over it so you know what you need to have in order to be a fucking superstar. I think this is gonna be a great video. Let's get into it. I'm Rob Level. This is Smart Rapper. You about to get smarter right after the intro. I do this full time, bitch. I do this full time. Every day, day. Stay up on my grind, bitch. All day, day. Stay up on my grind, grind. Number one, he specifically said he looks for style, okay? And I'm not talking about clothing style. I'm talking about, like, musical style. If an artist is something that makes him stand out, he can then accentuate that, emphasize that, and grow that into an entire style. Everything else can be taught, but a natural, organic style that makes them and sets them apart, that's massive. And I always tell you guys to look for that. Do I not? Till you find something that makes you unique. And this book clearly says that. When I do my live streams on you now, every Thursday at 6 p.m. PST, where I review people's music, put that in your calendars, Thursday, 6 p.m. PST, you guys get on there and I review your music. Everybody who's ever on there, do you not realize and know that how often do I say, develop your voice? Okay, when I say develop your voice, this is actually what I mean. This is why I say it so often. Because that uniqueness, finding that uniqueness, that sound that you're gonna develop in your voice that helps you stand out is like the number one key that's gonna make you different from everybody else. You need and have to develop that voice, okay? It's what everybody's looking for, not just record executives, but also people who just listen to music. If you sound different and you sound cool and unique, you're gonna gain a fan. Okay? Also, if you stand out from the crowd, you're gonna stand out to an A&R or a record executive. If your goal is to get signed to a record label, depends on your goals, if that's your goal, that's one way to really get noticed. A&Rs are looking for the same thing that L.A. Reid was looking for as well, okay? It's something unique, it's something about you. There's another two things we're gonna talk about in this video, but this is the first one. Please drill this into your brain, okay? There's actually a video that I'm gonna release later in the week um, that's gonna be about how to find your voice and message for you as an artist, so be on the lookout for that, okay? Let's go to number two. You have to have, number two, uh. confidence and swagger, okay? Some of the cooler parts of this book to me were the moments where he described the times when he signed people like Usher, Megan Trainer, Pink, and you know, Justin Bieber, okay? These were the moments where he knew they were star material. It was because when he saw them, or heard them, okay, or saw them perform, he said, they have what it takes. They have that confidence and that, that demeanor and that swagger about them that that makes them a star. Now I know, wait a minute, don't worry. You're not out of the running yet if you don't have confidence, okay? Not all of us are people who just have confidence because our mommies and our daddies wiped our ass for us and helped us smile every time we fell and scraped our knee or helped us out of problems to give us this confidence because we never really had to struggle. And I'm sorry, but that is the way I see it. My mom gave me up and my dad died before I was eight years old. I was putting 
certain behavior homes, behavior schools. I was thrown around to different family members. I've lived with like almost every family member, okay? I've been all over the damn place and I always felt like nobody wanted me. This type of life instability and not having parents made me feel like nobody wanted me, being thrown around and stuff like this. And I'm not saying this to be like, boo-hoo, Rob, right? That's not why. The reason I'm telling you this is because I had no confidence for a majority of my life. I was always shy and never believed in myself because, well, nobody ever believed in me. And that makes it hard for you to be confident, right? And I know you right now, you're listening to this, you're resonating, you're saying, wow, nobody does believe in me. I am kind of an introvert, I am, I am shy, and I don't have much confidence. I, confidence. I like to say and pretend like I have confidence, but deep down I don't have any confidence and it hurts, and you know it hurts because I know the pain. And it took me a very, very, very long time to have any type of confidence, okay, and to believe in myself and then push myself further. And the type of confidence that I have is actually built on my accomplishments and my credibility and things that I've actually worked to get. It's not a natural confidence, okay? And that's why I come across as cocky sometimes because it's not natural. It's built on things that I had to accomplish and, and, and gain in my life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the confidence that I have is an earned confidence because I had to work to get the confidence. It's not natural. I'm not going to lie to anybody. But that sometimes is like a middle ground of like, okay, this dude's cocky. I don't like this motherfucker. I know. I don't like myself sometimes too. But if you're that person who doesn't have that confidence, I want you to know that if you keep working, you are going to accomplish things. You're going to accomplish greater things than even you realize now. You're gonna go past your goals and you're gonna reach more as long as you're working, okay? And you're gonna build the confidence. And I don't care how you get the confidence. I care that you have the confidence to believe in yourself because I believe in you, okay? I want you to have that confidence. I don't care where the fuck it comes from. I want you to have a confidence where you walk in a room and you own the room, okay? And that can be from you gaining what just accomplishing whatever it is that you accomplish man like just get out there and work and build your credibility to build your confidence okay i had no confidence in myself until i really started sh proving people wrong okay and that's why it comes off as cocky and i do apologize for that you know i feel like i'm being, I'm being too open about this but yeah it's, it's true you know it's not natural it's a built confidence because I, I i was the only person who believed in me that's cocky but it's confidence when it comes together okay and that's okay if you have that too as long as you know you can you start and learn to control the confidence if you become you become too cocky that's crazy but when you have a strong confidence and other people see that confidence right you're gonna shine people are gonna see you as a star you need to know that having confidence is essential to being a music artist and not just for getting discovered as a music artist but for showing people listen I am so confident in my music, I can tell you, you could tell before I even listen to your music, I'm good, I'm great, I believe in myself, and you should believe in me too, okay? Like how many artists, like think about Kanye, right? Think about Kanye, it's like I'm a, he thinks he's a, like kind of like God level, he's so incredibly confident that it make you make you, everybody else, then he kind of thinks like, he's amazing, like, no, he don't even, he never doubts himself. That's the type of confidence. Think about that. Just think about that for a second. You ever met somebody that has a super ego, is super crazy confident, and you're like, damn, like, why is he so confident? He must, you know, he, he must be fucking good. But you meet somebody who's like, yeah, I'm okay. Like, I'm not that good. Like, they're like overly humble. You're like, oh, they're probably not that good. And then if you do hear it and they are good, you're like, damn, that's impressive. But if they're super confident, you expect them to be great. And that's kind of what it is. It's like when you exude that confidence, it rubs off on everything around you and everybody. So you really need to focus on building your confidence up and believing in yourself. Look at the little things you've accomplished in your life. It doesn't have to be big things, man. We oftentimes don't give ourselves the credit or the pats on the back for even the little things, all right? If you even graduated high school, if you even graduated eighth grade, if you have even ever held a, a job, if you've ever done, any, if you've even made 20 songs, that's more songs than most people say that rappers have made, okay? But a lot of people say they're rappers, they haven't even made 20 songs. You're already more of a rapper than those people. And the more you work, the more of a rapper you are. Whether or not you have a huge fan base. If you have 50 fans, you're ahead of people who don't have any fans or any songs out, okay? That is something to be proud of. That's something to have confidence for and continue building that confidence for yourself and continue you shining okay don't be an asshole but shine okay also think about this when you have confidence and I know you know this already but when you have confidence does it not make girls like you more or does it not at the least make them more interested in you and they go why is he so confident now what does he have is he better than me 
<laughs> like, you know, if you think about that, like really, like having confidence is gonna help you with everything in your life. And, and that right there is, that right there is sheer proof, okay? And that's something that I'm sure that you care about if you're a guy, right? And like, think about it for a second. All right, number three, lastly, they look for somebody who has already put a lot of the work in. Somebody who has already accomplished so much for themselves. Like somebody who is actually showing like, look, I don't fucking need you. Okay, I'm gonna do this either fucking way, right? Don't you love, like that type of person? That's a leader, that's a leader. Those are the people that wanna sign. That, that's me, I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to be cocky. That's what I am, I don't care. I, I don't care, I've never cared if someone else believed in me. That's why I just kept going until I even, until I like really believed in myself more and more and more and more because they want somebody that's gonna do it no matter what. And they, it's kind of like this attitude of like, well, I'm gonna do it without you, but if you'd like to join, you could sign me or give me some money. <laughs> like, that's what it is. Like, okay, I guess we can make some money together. Let's do it. If you could show them you're willing to put in that work without anybody else, like imagine how they're gonna feel if they teamed up with you. Like, what's he gonna do if we give him some money? What's he gonna do if we give him the resources? What can we do for him? How can we help him and help him grow even more? He's gonna do it without us anyways. Right? If you could build your buzz up, if you could build a fan base without anybody's help, they are already gonna believe in you because you're already doing it. They have to believe in you, okay? When I got my record, when I got a distribution deal with RBC Records and they, they've had deals with everybody from Gucci Mane, uh, they, do, they back all of Tech Nine's albums, Chief Keith, Boosie, Method Man. When I went into that label meeting before I signed with them, for just, it was a one-off album deal, they said to me, the only thing we are here for is to dump more gasoline on the fire that you've already created. That's really what a label is for. If you are already starting a fire, if you've already ignited the fire, and that fire is slowly growing and growing and growing, and then you have the resources from a label, the right deal. I'm not saying all deals are right, okay? Don't take this wrong. You gotta get the right label deal, okay? If you make the right deal at the right time in your career, you turn into something like a Wiz Khalifa. Okay, where you get that deal and then it's just like, they just throw like, they do like 10 gallons of gas on the fire, like boom! And then the boy just blows up, like, oh, Jesus! Right, that right there is what you want. You wanna to get to that level, then sign a deal. And if you start that fire, you create that fire, you keep working, you keep throwing your own gasoline on that fire, you're gonna get a deal. People are gonna want, you, or if you don't get a deal, you're gonna find a financial investor and you're gonna start your own label and you're gonna blow up. Okay, those are the things, all right? You just became a smarter rapper. I teach a new word every day on the Smart Rapper channel so you can become a smarter rapper or a smarter person, smarter human in general, all right? So, you know what time it is. I got this right here, man. It's time for word of the day, new words. You can say new words for your rhymes and for your wordplay. By the time you leave this video, you'll be smarter than you was before. This is so stupid. Word of the day today is conjecture. It's an idea or an opinion that's formed with no proof to or evidence to support it really being real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, your argument is going to be ignored if it's nothing but conjecture. Period. Quote of the day, judge a man by his questions rather than by his answers. Oh, Lord. That's Voltaire. All right, y'all, hope this helped you today. Get that confidence, believe in yourself. If you don't have anybody else believing in you right now, just know that I believe in you, okay? I do believe in you, and I'm not just like some bum off the street, okay? I'm somebody who has worked to get here, and you can say with no doubt that somebody who has accomplished and has been successful and has worked through these, the same things you've been through believes in you, because I've been in the same fucking shoes you're in right now, and no offense, I've probably been in worse shoes. So if I got here, you can get here. I don't care what anybody tells you, just keep working, okay? Check out these videos. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with another video, tons of videos. We are growing like crazy, y'all. All right, and don't forget Thursday, 6 p.m. PST on You Now. I review your music, okay? So get on there with me. Thursday, 6 p.m. PST. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep hustling. Subscribe, for real, though. Don't, you better subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I swear to God, man. <laughs>